10, 9, 8, 7, 6. All right, guys, take five, cover. Four. It's going to be a nuclear explosion. Two, 1. What's up guys, Sam and G back and I'm here to tell you I'm switching smoke alarms. Okay, let me explain. Usually I'm okay with smoke alarms. They have literally one job, tell you if there's a fire. Okay, two jobs. When you press the push button to turn it off, it should turn off. Unfortunately, my usual smoke alarm failed at one of those jobs, unacceptable. But it seemed like this time around, it was way too sensitive and there was no fire whatsoever. It actually started off with one particular evening when my nephew was here, he was sleeping over for the night. He was in the living room, just chilling. 2 a.m. in the morning, boom, all the alarms went off. Yeah, there's three alarms, one at the top, two at the bottom floor. Now it's by design that if one of the alarms pick up any smoke, all the alarms should go off. They're all interconnected using some kind of special interconnect wire or whatnot. However, at 2 a.m. in the morning, I think I should have the choice to turn those alarms off once they go off. Unfortunately, this one night I didn't. It just carried on and on and on. And no matter how much I pushed the turn off button, this one right here, it would not stop. Seriously, I'd like some sleep, please. It actually got to the point where I had to physically remove one of the alarms from downstairs. Keep in mind it was dark. I didn't want to turn the light on and start making it a bit more hassle for my nephew. I mean, it was so weird. One of the alarms would go off upstairs and then the other two would go off with it. And I would press the turn off button, the silence button. It would go silent and it would go off again. It's like they're all triggering each other essentially. Once I physically removed this alarm from the passageway, they actually were still triggering each other. However, finally they were silence. I said to myself, mm -mm 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 -mm. never again. So I set out for something smarter, something that when I actually tell it to stop, it stops. I just hope I've made the right choice. Introducing Google Nest. Now Nest is part of Google's smart home initiative. Everyone knows Nest right now as their thermostat. It actually extends far beyond that. And this is their smoke alarm the Nest Protect. One thing that caught my eye about this is that within the app that comes with this, well, you just download it from the store, it literally has a button that says push to silence. So I'm expecting it to do just that in an emergency. So let's get this installed. One thing I forgot to mention with this is that this is the wired version. That's quite important to me because it's going in place of the other smoke alarms. All my smoke alarms in this house are wired. So they're powered by the house. I don't want to have to start going up there and changing it every six months or whatever, but you hear that little beeps or whatever it is that annoys me so much. So with this, I don't have to worry about any of that. One of the things that's worth mentioning is that I've actually got one of these installed. I've been quite happy with it. But the idea is that we'd had more than one of these in the house. So right now I'm about to install one in the kitchen, which will be replacing the two that I had downstairs as it works over Wi-Fi, we don't need an extra smoke alarm as an intermediary to communicate between the two. And so I'll be installing our second and hopefully last one in the kitchen. Another cool feature is that if one alarm goes off, um, the other alarm that's connected to it via Wi-Fi, which will be this one, say the kitchen one went off, this one will go off and say, warning, smoke detected in the kitchen it actually has speakers built in and that is pretty cool if you ask me but yeah that's an initial warning message before the traditional loud beeping alarm it also tests itself at night and you can see when it's testing itself there'll be a little green ring that glows but also at night where there's no light whatsoever as you walk by it a white ring actually glows which illuminates the whole area which is cool for going toilet in the middle of the night or something like that. All right, let's move this up here. So check that out guys. That is the smoke alarm that we're going to be replacing. I believe this one is known as a heat alarm. So I'm not too sure whether or not it detects smoke, but this is the kind of alarm that's made for kitchens. So hopefully, We'll be able to get this out replaced seamlessly for no issues. All right, I've just removed 
the main bit, but now I've got to get rid of that. That's got to go. Alright, on to the next step, which is actually putting the other one in. Well, the new Google Nest Protect in. Safe to say I should probably unbox this already. Don't know why I haven't done it yet, but let's do it. Alright, let's get this bad boy open. Yep, bye bye, old useless smoke alarm. I hardly knew thee. Let's get this bad boy open. Ugh. Probably remove that sticker. And don't worry guys, we'll get there soon enough. This looks like, well, this must contain the manual. Have a quick look inside. You'll see. Welcome home. <laughs> It's welcoming me to my own home. And of course we've got the main attraction itself. Okay, it's not really an attraction. It's only got one job, warn you of smoke. Actually, it also warns you of carbon monoxide too. As we've got a boiler in the kitchen, it would be good for that too. If I can remember correctly, this needs to be set up first before putting it up on the ceiling, which makes sense. Let's do that. And there you go, that's confirmation. Alrighty then, let's load up the Nest app. This is the Nest app. As you can see, I've already got two things from Nest already. This is the Nest thermostat showing the targeted degrees. So right now it's aiming for nine degrees. If I have to click on that, I can see it's actually currently 25, so it's not gonna turn the heating on. Pretty cool stuff, but really what you can see here is another Nest. This is the Nest Protect, the one I showed you earlier. And notice how it's got that yellow ring on there. It's trying to warn me of something. What is it saying? If you look closely up, you can see that it says power sup or whatever. Let's tap that and see what it's talking about. As you can see, it warns you when there's something wrong. It's glowing yellow right now because according to this, the power is off. Yeah, I've turned off all the smoke alarms from the mains. That's a safety precaution. It warns you in the app, it warns you in the manual, and really, you have to turn it off anyway. I mean, you don't want to be getting a huge shock of your life. So um, yeah, do make sure that the respective power is cut off from the appliances before you start installing. But yeah, this is pretty neat. Warns you straight up if there's anything wrong. If I was to turn the power on right now, this would go green. Ah, this is pretty cool. It even tells you the exact time the power went off. Loving that. It does have backup batteries, I forgot to mention. So right now, there are actual batteries already installed in here. And if I was to pull this tag off, it would activate it. They're running off three AA batteries right now. So those will always kick in if there is no power and they'll always remain charged as they're connected via the mains. Scan the code. Ah, scan the code. Make sure that you have all Nest Protects you're setting up as well as blah, blah. Next, this is going, let's see, the kitchen. Oh look. Upstairs is connecting for some reason. Connecting your upstairs Nest Protect to get all the assist set up. Really? Why? Hmm. Should I go upstairs? Something went wrong. We're having trouble connecting to the Nest product that's assisting. Make sure that you're close to it, that it's online, and that your phone's connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, okay. I better go upstairs. All right, I'm upstairs now. Connecting. Oh. It's already saying to pull out the tab on the new Nest. Let's do that. Hello from Nest. Ready. Press to test. All right, pressing next. Is it connecting? Setting up Wi-Fi. Oh, look at that. Setting up the Nest network. Finishing. Adding to the account. Connected. Oh, so the new Nest is ready to go. All right, so it just tells you that it constantly checks its sensors, power and Wi-Fi connection each month. So it's just the usual stuff. 
can set a time for it to do that. I'll just stick with the default time. And now I'm going to install the nest on the wall or ceiling, following instructions in the user guide. Run a safety check. Hmm. Once I've finished installation, I can do that. Do that later. Blah -de blah And blah -de blah -de blah Setup complete. That's all I wanted to see. Oh, we're good. I click on this. Wow. So as you can see, power is off in two rooms, kitchen and upstairs. Of course, power is not connected on this one, but let's do that. Okay, this is the moment of truth. What happens when I turn on the power? Is it gonna explode? Or is there going to be a nice green light that shows? Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. We have our green light. Excellent. All right, now that we've gotten that installed, we have one more thing to do, just one more thing. And that is to push that button in the center as we do with all newly installed smoke alarms. What I'm wondering now is what happens when one smoke alarm is tested? Will the other smoke alarm go off? Let's find out. Push once. Ready in the kitchen. Press to test. And then. Ready in the kitchen. Press to test. Uh. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. All right, guys, take five, cover. Four. It's going to be a nuclear explosion. Two, one. This is only a test. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. So the one upstairs is going off now. Safe to say that they work well together. Finishing up. The test is finished. Everything looks fine. Excellent. One last thing to make sure of is the status in the app. As you can see, this has gone green. We press that, now that's gone green. There's no more warning saying the power is off and both are green. And it literally says everything's okay. And there we have it. Nest Protect is fully installed. Heads to no more nights at 2 a.m. with a random fire alarm going off. Famous last words, I sure hope not. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you loved it, give it a like, please. If you wanna see more content like this or random Sammy G content, whatever you wanna call it, liking the flow of things, liking my past videos, hit the subscribe button. I promise to make it worth your while. All right guys, till next time, peace.